Hi, I'm Amber. And I'm Layla. And from December 7th through 10th, we're going to have a Christmas spirit week. Your theme will be Monday, Ugly Christmas Sweater, Tuesday, Tropical Christmas, Wednesday, Red vs. Green, and Thursday, Christmas Movies. And don't forget to donate. Hi, I'm Amber. And I'm Layla. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, welcome back to Nest News. I'm your weatherman, Burns Burnham. Next week, we're looking at uh, sunny and cloudy for the most part with a little bit of showers on Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, we're going into uh, Christmas Spirit Week, but we're not seeing any snow, which kind of sucks. So uh, have a good week. Burn them out. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Sports Center. I'm your host, Zach Simonson. This is my co-host, Brandon Van Wingerden. And we're here to get you all wrapped up on sports for this week. First off, the Charlotte Hornets finally got a pick right. LaMelo Ball was picked the number three overall pick. Brayden, would you like to tell us what we're getting in LaMelo Ball? Uh, I think we're getting a very versatile point guard, shooting guard, small forward. Really, very many different ways you can play him being 6'7". Good to see the Hornets finally get a pick right. Also, shout out to Nate Hinton and Devon Dotson, local talent, getting picked in the second round. Conor McGregor's back in the octagon in January. Recently signed a deal to fight Dustin Poirier. Shout out to McGregor. Thoughts? Um, I'm not big, much big into the fighting, but I like Conor McGregor. So. Yeah, who doesn't love Conor McGregor? And also, shout out to the varsity basketball team. Start the season 2-0, and playing tonight against Charlotte Latin here at Southlake. Thank you, guys. So what we are doing is we are selling um, these pink bows, which are part of our uh, pink bow campaign. So um, what we do is you will buy a bow, and then you will write maybe your favorite Bible verse, um, words of encouragement, and um, we will send them to cancer patients going through treatment right now. And I think it's a um, just really good time to start this because it's during the holidays, holidays and we can um, spread just all the money that we um, gain from selling these bows goes directly to um, Susan G. Cohen. Um, and they donate it to breast cancer research and community outreach. And uh, so... Well, Peter, looks like we're going to be looking forward to another great Christmas, and that also means another great Christmas break. Um, but I have to ask you, do you have any special Christmas memories that you'd like to share to our viewers? Yes, I do. So, um, well, um, last Christmas, I, I, was, I was in Phoenix. I flew to Los Angeles to meet, to meet my parents and my uh, cousins, my aunts, so uh, I, was, I think that was a very fun memory because I didn't have didn't celebrate Christmas since I was... 12 or 14, because people don't care about when I where I'm from, so um, definitely that, I think that was one of my uh, favorite memories of Christmas. What about you? For me, it would have to be 30 seconds ago, getting to see Jim at work, doing oh, that nice. weather. He was incredible. It's always a sight to see. Mm -hmm. So, I guess until next time, have a cheesy, cheesy, cheesy day. day.